is in campaign 2012. Tonight, the troubled city of Central Falls has a new mayor. He will be the city's first Latino mayor, and he's under 30 years old. Results coming in have Councilman James Diosa beating former police chief Joseph Moran. Diosa will replace Charles Moreau, who resigned in disgrace amid corruption charges. He faces the challenge of helping Central Falls bounce back from bankruptcy. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik is live in Central Falls with the details. Well, some absentee ballots still need to be counted and the election has to be certified. But tonight, Central Falls has spoken and they voted for James Diosa. Major celebration for James Diosa, the first Latino mayor of Central Falls. At the La Casana restaurant, the former councilman hugged the crowd, thanked them for their support and shared some words. We did it. Yeah. Diosa beat out former police chief Joe Moran, who watched the results closely Tuesday night. Both candidates were running in the special election to replace former Mayor Charles Moreau, who resigned in September and pled guilty to corruption charges. Mayor-elect Diosa gave us his first interview, saying he wants to move the city forward. We've got to show uh, the state and, and, the, and our residents that uh, we're no longer going to play any games at City Hall. If you look at the numbers, he beat me. It, it looks like that there. And, and like I said, I wish him well. He's going he's to have a rough job uh, coming in because he's going to have to uh, be inclusive, include a lot of people more than exclusive. That way there we can move ahead with the entire city. So he's going to uh, he's gonna have to show that to the, the people of Central Falls. But the people of Central Falls spoke, and uh, they spoke very, very well to have him as the new leader or as the new mayor of the city of Central Falls, and I wish him well. Now, Diosa will be finishing out Moreau's term until November. Then we can tell you there will be another election for mayor. And we spoke with Moran tonight. He says he does not rule out another run. Reporting live tonight with breaking news from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom from uh, Central Falls, I'm Catherine Slotnick, Eyewitness News.